President Trump and his administration have wasted no time attempting to strip away some of our basic and fundamental rights. They're operating as though the Constitution doesn't even exist. And some of the most dangerous of these policies have been introduced and encouraged by our U.S. Attorney General, Jeff Sessions. And if he has his way, we will be going back into the failed policies of the past that brought us the system of mass incarceration that we are currently suffering from. And even scarier is the blatant deception that he uses to call his policies one thing when they mean something completely different. He's talking in code, folks. So let's do a little decoding. How about the phrase law and order? What's that code for? That's code for cut the police loose and let them do whatever they want. Well, over the past several years, we have seen historic consent decrees entered between the Department of Justice and police departments all over this country. There's been an emphasis on training and accountability to the communities that are being served by the police, and this has led to major changes in policing in places like Seattle, Cleveland, Baltimore, and elsewhere. Yet Senator Sessions has criticized such consent decrees as dangerous and an end run around the democratic process. You can bet that his Department of Justice will not be quick to investigate when black and brown people are killed by police, beaten by police, or injured by police. How about the phrase, tough on crime? When Jeff Sessions says tough on crime, He's talking about protecting police officers from a supposed rise in violence and dangerous trend of violence toward police. National Public Radio has reported that since the 1970s, the number of officers killed on duty has roughly been cut in half. And that's why criminologists all over the country are quick to point out that the data about the number of police officers killed is not enough to call the shootings of officers in Texas and Louisiana some kind of dangerous permanent trend as described and claimed by Jeff Sessions. And finally, how about the war on drugs? All this is is code for let's go back back to mandatory minimum sentences, back to racial disparity. And now, Sessions wants to go back to giving everyone in drug cases these mandatory minimum sentences. We have an attorney general who is feeding us alternative facts to support his political agenda. And that agenda has little to do with actual justice.